Bitch, the yeah. producer. Target on your back, one shot like that, you lost your soul. Oh. War right in my city, every corner got a pool. Oh, his was them youngins way before they got to know. Please don't take this shit for granted, told you how it go. Target on your back, one shot like that, you lost your soul. War right in my city, every corner got a pool. Oh, his was them youngins way before they got to know. Please don't take this shit for granted, told you how it go. I ain't not taking no samples. Try to get niggas examples. And they be really can handle. Bustin' the trail while I'm in on a pandle. Mama said, be a man, don't come with manuals. Get to the kick now, I'm wishing for answers. Fuck who they know they gon' shoot, put your hands up. When I was done, the goblins got a man up. Bitch, talk to me, I'm not talking about fan love. Started in Philly. Gotta take hold of my city. Them niggas gon' hustle for hundreds and fifties. Protecting the pack up, just try to stay busy. Cause niggas be blind, they pop you like Willis. No, I'm a king, shout out Wallow and Gilly. This not a game, is it worth it? Not really. This not a game, is it worth it? Not really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Target on your back, one shot like that, you lost your soul. Boy, right in my city, every corner got a fool. Oh, his was them youngins way before they got to know. Please don't take this shit for granted, told you how it go. Target on your back, one shot like that, you lost your soul. Boy, right in my city, every corner got a fool. Oh, his was them youngins way before they got to know. Please don't take hey, this shit for granted. Hey, told you hey, how we go. No side. Ain't got a rabbit, you know how we ride. Ticket get slippery, watch how you slide. I ain't no killer, no bullshit, my bro. I got a way, keep it at rest. But at the bar, we can keep it a dash. Shoot for the start, trying to be with us. Ever the pack on the map, niggas ever just rap. Facts, usually chillin', niggas grillin', treated like a comedy, laughin' at that. Trying to go way, 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 way up so high, never had that. Smoke on the moon, play with a quiz, or maybe I'm using the crate of the ass. I swear, I swear, I'ma do it like I never have. All like I got that shit in the back. Hey, stop, you niggas making it hot, we got the drop, get back, no need to blow up the spot, my niggas chop, kick back, they only aim at the top, wait for the drop, get fast, niggas don't play with the clock, in and then out, quick fast, play with your babies, don't play me, I'm shady, Hey, I feel I was born like 70s, 80s, uh, uh, straight from the 90s, we really them babies, uh, uh, just like my hair was like, hey, bitch, I'm wavy, target on your back, one shot like that, you lost your soul, Right in my city, every corner got a pool. Oh, his was them youngins way before they got to know. Please don't take this shit for granted. Told you how it go. Target on your back, one shot like that, you lost your soul. Boy, right in my city, every corner got a pool. Oh, his was them youngins way before they got to know. Please don't take this shit for granted. Told you how it go. OG, baby, Mr. Mike, Turn Up Entertainment, Monday night, City of Brotherly Love, and you know what it is. I got to get comfortable with talking to this, uh, to this fucking mess. It is a little irritating. Yeah, it really is. Yeah, I feel like I'm muffled. Yeah, right? Like you mumbling this shit. Can y'all hear us? Are we clear? Oh, they can hear us. Trust me, they can hear us. All right, shout out to everybody tuned in. Shout out to my man, New Note. New Note. What's up, Playboy? Much love, man. It was good to see you. It really, really was, man. I had a fucking ball. I was fried, dog. I ain't even gonna front. That shit went fast, too. All right? So, I'm your OG. Tonight is What's Poppin'. What's Poppin' with me and my lovely co-host, London Lust 215. Uh, she ain't get here, okay? This not London, okay? <laughs> this is my girl, Toya. Toya Love 2 1 Thizzy, baby. Upcoming model from the city of Bradley Love. All right, follow her on the gram. Follow her on the gram. And uh, you'd be surprised, people. The city is filled with talent. And she's definitely a talented person from the city that you know you might not heard about it, but that don't mean she ain't doing nothing. Say hi to the people, Toya. What's up, y'all? I'm here, Philadelphia in the house. Philly is here. I'm representing all day, every oh, day. Man. Talk to me, y'all. See, put, put that mask down because you, you got your beauty a little bit. You got, she got your beauty a little yeah, bit. Yeah, we got to say six feet apart. All right, I got to say six feet apart. <laughs> all right. But like always, we talk about anything and everything on Monday night. All right. So tonight we got this uh, this 5G thing going on. What you know about that, Toy? Something going out there saying that it's there, we should probably investigate. 
So you know, you know nothing about it. Oh, you know, it's just, it's just this new. Yeah, I don't know if it's true or false. I don't know if the virus is true or false. I don't know what's made up, what's true, what's not. I haven't seen it personally. I don't know anybody. But what did you hear? Um, I've been to the Philippines where it was major out there, and I still don't know nobody. With 5G, though, with 5G was major in the Philippines? It's major. It was major out there, and I don't know anybody that suffered from the coronavirus at all. So I'm kind no of skeptical shit. about it. Very skeptical. No shit. Yeah. And they had it before us. Yeah. The 5G thing. Yeah, but I do believe if they are putting 5G up, that it probably would make a lot of people sick because that's what happens every time they change technology like that is people get sick. Interesting because that's um uh, that's damn sure what's going on. Uh, shout out to my girl Sonya, the real Sonya. She put me on the video, and I, you know, I was ready. I ain't gonna say I was ready to debate with her, but I definitely had my doubts. And turns out she was kind of on point about about what she was saying. So how you been handling the lockdown, Sonya? Yeah, it's been rough. Mm. You know, it's it's been rough. I got to cook for myself. I got to kind of <laughs> just not do, I'm not used to not hustling, making money, not working. <laughs> I'm not used to sitting still. So this is kind of rough. Jail life is definitely not for me if I can't do quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, tell you, that's fucking funny. That's some real shit. Look, look, you, you like, I got to cook for myself. <laughs> <laughs> I do some real responsibility. <laughs> living my best life. I'm back to mom life, real life. <laughs> that's not cool. Hey, so that's funny. It's real. So, you got to make food for the kids and stuff like that, too, right? Well, well, who guys? What? So, what? What food are they making? That's kind of good, though. What? What they need practice on? You no, know, we were just talking about that. My kids make some good chichi with shrimp. Chichi? What's chichi? With a a, a we cheese sandwich? Cheese with cheese. Yeah, we, they make. That's that gel they shit. Gourmet oodles and noodles with shrimp. Gourmet with shrimp. And steak cubes and all of that. Yeah, they they be hooking it up. So they be they be throwing down. They be making you some grilled chicken salad. You know, just throw some lettuce. And what you be doing? Hey, hey, toy. So you just be you just be taste testing everything. Everything, everything that look good, I'm eating. That's that's funny right there. All right, so the five G thing, Toya. Uh, I'm gonna pause for the cards. We're gonna play this record right here. Matter of fact, Toy, do us a favor. Open the door for London. All right, so my 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 co-host, she coming. That's what we gonna do. Before I get started, all right, we're going to bang a song real quick, all right? We're going to play the, we're going to go with this chopper, chopper, chopper. Yeah, 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 ain't no stopping on me Cause every motherfucking day I got the choppers on me Don't do no talking, I'm just chopping on me So don't walk up on me Yeah, 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 ain't no stopping on me Cause every motherfucking day I got the choppers on me Don't do no talking, I'm just chopping on me So don't walk up on me I'm plowing through you niggas hoods like a massive truck Raw face when you die and so passes up Don't let them niggas know I'm riding, I ain't massing up Cause when that smoke clear, it's gonna be tears Niggas mad as fuck I'm chopping niggas down, but I ain't yelling timber for them Hard cold as fuck, so I'ma bring that winter for them Bodies froze stiff enough, feel like the simmer for them Kids at home starving, wait no pops, they got that dinner for them Rah, my pops was crazy with the chopper too But when I met him, I was droning, had that chopper too Rah, 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 leave you chopped in two Action news said they ain't even notice what the chopper do The way I move, we show you I got the block of flock of flu That ratchet black, but in your mind you think it's pop or blue Entering my hood is something they told you not to do You try to run, but you got hit, you ain't had that option too Yeah, 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 ain't no stopping on me Cause every motherfucking day I got the choppers on me Don't do no talking, I'm just chopping on me So don't walk up on me Yeah, 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 ain't no stopping on me Cause every motherfucking day I got the choppers on me Don't do no talking, I'm just chopping on me So don't walk up on me That's what happens when you walk up in that wrong spot. A bunch of goons up in 
that building and they all pop. A new nigga hit the hood and make they jaw drop. But they all think the same, let it ring like when that ball drop. Rah, that's what you hearing in and out the city. Cause when I lead the crib, the chopper coming out there with me. Cause you don't know, you don't know, you don't know what hit him. So you walk up close and see his face, you know that chopper hit him. The way his eyes look, you can tell this nigga died choking. Found in the streets, but his whole entire ride soaking. Witnesses peak, but they wonder why nobody's smoking. Cause this ain't the first time that they ever seen a body smoking. Ah, don't do no talking, this is not a game. I'm never known for carrying and doing not a thing. Niggas getting they shit flip right about their lane. Cause my shit be looking like a missile coming out of plane. Yeah, 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 ain't no stopping, homie. Cause ain't motherfucker day, I got the choppers on me. Don't do no talking, I'm just chopping, homie. Brrah, rah, rah, rah. So don't walk up on me. Stopping on me, cause they motherfucking day I got the choppers on me. Don't do no talking, I'm just chopping on me. See, everybody in my hood be known for wreck chasing. And that vest you got on dog ain't go protect Nathan. A headshot to dead shot, ain't no chest caving. Go ahead and see your death now and address Satan. The coppers seen them choppers, they don't want no parts of it. Last time they in the feed, they got they auto flip. Clip drop and surf the next, I give them all of it. Me, I call it art. Other niggas, they gon' call it sick. These motherfuckers scared to death when they was born to die. So when that chopper get the chopper, nigga goin' rise. Yeah, yeah, it's your OG, baby. It's fucking mass, man. <laughs> Don't be laughing. Be right back at you, all right? I got my two lovely ladies. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm talking about. The lovely London Lust. Two in the house. And my girl Latoya. Right here, love in the house. That's what I'm talking about. So how y'all feeling, ladies? Feeling good. Good. Better Great. good to be out the living room. That was bullshit energy right there. Oh, come on. Yo, but that's how we feeling. Like, that's how you feeling? I know, right? Yeah, we still on incubation. Yeah. Quarantine, hibernation, whatever you want to call it, we still here. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. so, so tonight we talking about the five G thing. What you know about the five G thing, uh, London? London. Shit, what is that? What is the five G thing? She don't know shit then. You no, nothing. you know what that is? No. What is the five G thing? Well, the the five grand or something. <laughs> 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 There's some money yeah. that's supposed to be coming towards us. Uh, cast app that thing too. Five G, what's good? <laughs> oh, well, 5G, ladies. 5G is that? this new thing where they putting up these new towers to give us better uh, internet and all that shit. Oh, we, can, yeah? we can download shit faster. Oh, but like that. the issue is okay. what what's going on is they saying that it's not the coronavirus, it's the shit, the energy, the radiation from the 5G that is causing these same symptoms and people, which they are calling the coronavirus, a.k.a. they give you the vaccine. Yeah. yeah. And then they tell you you got it. Well, actually, you really ain't fucking got it. It's the motherfucking radiation from the 5G towers. Wow. I feel like if that's what it is, then it's not worth it. I that's what I said. I said wow, like too. old ass flip phone if that's the case. Like, I'll go old school to a, to a wizard or beeper or some shit. Like, let's say a beeper? A beeper. They know oh, about the beep, but beep, beep. Hit me on my beeper. Hit 911 yeah. if it's an emergency. Yeah. Never you say beep. Hello. Never you say beep Hello, on flashbacks. <laughs> All right, so so how you feel about that shit, ladies? Because uh, me and the sisters, we Danny got into a, a debate this morning. And I was down there forcing her to watch the show this morning because it's all about the radio. You know what I mean, ladies? Yeah. But she was on point. And it turns out, fucking uh, Trump is not playing ball. Meaning, like, for example. He's not participating? Yes. Indirectly, he's not then participating. That's, good then, right? that's fucking good. That's awesome. I don't want that shit then. So, peep the move, ladies. So, the move is this. Uh, you know how Trump was saying. They, they they want to vaccinate mandatory the whole the whole nation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, that's part of the that so called s- conspiracy. And Trump is like, well, if ain't nothing wrong with motherfuckers, why we want to put vaccine in them? Yeah, I heard something about that was his. I don't want that to go to microchipping people. Fuck that! I ain't getting that shit. Yeah, and and it's like, and you know, uh, this one chick I saw on on on, uh, on Facebook, she go to the to the doctor, he ain't even tested her. Just said she had the shit. They ain't yeah. tested for the the COVID. Mm-hmm. She just came in with a cough, a typical cold. Yeah, because at first they didn't have the test available uh, to everybody. So if people were getting tested, how would they get the vaccine? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, 
every hospital would not have the technology to test people so that they can move out. Everybody Good question. I don't even have no, I'm not going to die on it. So they were basically telling everybody with the cold that they had the symptoms. The symptoms. That, yeah, that if you basically regular cold symptoms that you could have the virus. And that's how a lot of people were dying because they didn't know if they had the virus or they had a regular flu. Yeah, and it goes back to, it's my little quick investigation. Mm -hmm. It goes back to that. The, the same fucking symptoms is the symptoms that the uh, the people was telling the government that was going to happen if they put those 5G towers up. Mm -hmm. The and same the same fucking symptom. It's whether it's or not. Or not. Exactly. Yeah, it's I totally agree. Lie, so. I totally agree. I, I, I really do. Mm -hmm. So what do you uh, what do you think, London? Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just remember day by day, you know, just hearing the news through my mom or other people, but I really have been watching the news, so, but when you tell me about this, I don't like the sound of it. No, me either. Definitely not. And but, I, um, I haven't been following, I've been hearing about the 5G thing, but to be honest, I haven't, I haven't been following either. You know your mask is supposed to go up your nose, like, over your nose. Yeah, I know. It keeps sliding oh, down. Oh, okay. Just to, you know, you, yeah. you're good then. I ain't got that shit. But but other than that, um, I'm happy to see you, ladies tonight. I was definitely looking forward to uh to us meeting up again. Yeah, me too. I look forward to seeing y'all. I can't wait every time I get up to participate. Yeah, we know you be busy. <laughs> I do, but I'm gonna be seeing all them sexy pictures. Oh, oh you see our pictures? Damn. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. Toya Toy Dan didn't knew some fucking times. Oh, I was looking at her like, ooh, baby, yes. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, baby, yes. I would have been followed this ass. <laughs> See what I go through? I know it, man. That's what I'm talking about. And doing all types of aerobics and shit. I'd be like, yeah, God damn. Yeah, it's been fucking hot. It's been hotter. Hold for this ass. <laughs> so, so Toy, now the last time you was here, uh, the Monday, that Thursday, you you took a trip and you kind of got stuck when that shit first went down. Yeah, this was right before the coronavirus got really serious, where it was just no matter. Yeah, we remember that shit because we talked talk about it. Yeah, we thinking it about your ass. Yeah, it was not in in the U.S. It was not around the world. It was nope. just in China, and it was a small fraction. And then by the time I got to my fifth day there. Um, all hell broke loose. All hell broke loose, but I still didn't know because we didn't have electric Wi-Fi or or anything to check our phones. So I didn't know until day seven that uh, the world was coming to an end. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> we just kind of arrived in the city, and it was like a ghost town. We And then people was wearing masks, and then we went to the airport. And so was so like, you like, what's going on? Yeah. yeah. Everything was canceled. We had to get special permission. We had to get special transportation to leave. Everything was shut down. They were telling us that quarantine was going to be a stop being in the street. Like, it was it was just, no. some of our team is still there. They're probably going to be there until all of this is over. Now. For real? Yeah, we got two members that are stuck in the Philippines um, that are trying to survive through this whole thing with no source of income or anything. They're just doing the best they can to survive together. So, Damn. how did the fuck did you get back then? Yeah, and white nuts. Some 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 team members that I had was in the military, and so they had military access to some things, and they kind of looked out. They looked out a long way and made sure I got home safely. So, and the team coordinator oh, um, made sure that we all got home before he made it home. So that's how he ended up missing his flight. He made sure his team got home, so he stayed behind. Oh wow, that's young. Yeah, shout out to you, old Rivers Home Street Venture. Yeah, shout out to you, Mister. Damn. Yeah. So so was you scared? What's going through your mind? At first, you know what? I couldn't believe it. But once I got to the airport and they told me I wasn't getting on the plane, that's when I started <laughs> <laughs> was like, oh, I'm not clear. So that's, that's when it started sitting in. That know, shit got real at that point. It I'm got doing. real, real that I might not be getting home. I mean, expense-wise, things was cheap. The cost of living was dirt cheap. So I could have did that. It was just a matter of not being home and seeing you during a crisis that nobody has ever been through in life. So, yeah. You know, Definitely. not knowing where your family is and kids and responsibilities and where, where your house is going to be at when this is all done. Like, that was the major concern for me is real life issues. Makes sense. And being in another country, like, that wasn't expected. I wouldn't even want if that was, you know, a big issue. And if Trump you knew that was. It, Trump should have made it a big issue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he shouldn't have 
that nobody tried it anywhere a month ago. Mm-mm. Well, it wasn't it wasn't fucking with us a month ago. Yes, it was. It was fucking with China, and it was out. And one of his people told him a year ago that it was out, and it was a problem. And he still did nothing. He evicted it. <coughs> he ignored it, and it spread, and now it's worldwide. How do you think that it spread over here? Traveling, as everything, traveling, people touching things, people talking, and being on the Gucci. I hate to say it, but China is rude and disrespectful. They will talk on you. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of, that's how things spread. They travel, they touching stuff, they getting on airplanes, coughing on people, sneezing on people, touching the railings, buttons. And yeah, here and, they eat, <coughs> and they eat all kind of crazy shit, too. And throw it on the floor when they done. And then people like us got to pick it up, you know, hard workers, laborers, got to pick it up, touch it, are exposed to it, and they're not taking care of themselves. So you don't think some people sacrifice themselves to come over here to bring it? No, I think some people sacrifice themselves because they want to get away from where mainly is at, which is in China. So if they can leave with the passport, I'm sure they would. I would, too. And that put us in jeopardy. And mm-hmm. all they were doing at the airports was checking temperatures, not actually being tested. For real? Had it. Well, I'm saying, like, before <coughs> everything blew up, I, me personally, I kind of feel as though that some of them Asian people, like, sacrificed themselves to come over here to, you know, like a terrorist attack, basically. Mm-hmm. This is what I feel. I feel as though this is a terrorist attack. So, so they sacrificed like themselves to bring the virus over. That's what over. I feel like. That's you know what I'm saying? Because, like, how did it get all over, over. the that's, United that's States possible. and all, just yeah. all over, like, worldwide? Yeah. Like, how did it get all over? You know, I just feel as though that some of them people had to sacrifice themselves and they all went and flew all the different places, coughing, touching shit, do whatever. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that would be a backfire, too. It would be successful and a backfire because it hit the home people pretty hard. It you did, know, but that's what I'm saying. It was already babies, over there. Yeah, so it, 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 I feel like whatever terrorist they was planning or trying to plan, it backfired and succeeded at the same time. They got worldwide attention, lots of death. You know, at the same right. time, they killed their own people. So it's like karma just kicked their ass mm. while being successful. At it, came, it came right back at them. Yeah. Shit, they got more people than the United States of America. Shit. 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 What goes around comes back around. Stop being dope. Mm. Yeah, yes, indeed. All right, people, I'm your OG, Mr. Mike, and my lovely co-host. London Lux 215. Mr. Your Love 215, here we are. Yeah, my special invited guest, okay? Mondays is called What's Poppin'. We talk about anything and everything under the scissor. Tonight we're talking about the 5G, the 5G in relation to the virus. The virus. Before I close off, hold that thought. Oh, she sounded sexy saying that, so I got you a present. All right, but... That's that's what we talking about, all right? Remember, people, you can check out my show. Subscribe to my show. It's free, F-R-E-E. It's free on on Apple, Spotify, Google, and all your major podcast outlets, all right? Show some love, how at your OG, all right? So uh, London got a gift for me. Drop from London. She got a lollipop. Oh, God. How'd you know? It's not right like sh- even though he was supposed to bring me one for today. <laughs> I brought him one instead. I mean, you gotta give him credit. You brought popcorn. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't, I don't eat popcorn. For real? Mm-mm. What kind of childhood you had? Yeah, I don't, even, I don't eat popcorn. She's watching her teeth. She's like, I don't want that shit in my teeth. I got this side. This shit's better. You never tried this? No, the Reese's. I got to try Oh, my God. I, I'm you funny about my munchies, too. You guys have to try these. Reese dip pretzels. I see that. Reese dip chocolate. pretzels. Oh, my God. Try one. Chocolate pretzels. Don't put your hands in my bag. Right. You know. Okay, okay, you can pull that one that's there, right? <laughs> Damn. You got to wait for the motherfucker to slide in here. You want to try one? Girl? All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to do this right here since we all got the munchies. We're going to take a pause for the cause, right? I'm going to play a song. And when we come back, we're going to check on London and her diet. Ooh. We're going to we gonna feel she's sticking to her diet that she supposedly been on and all that good shit. All right. And then we're going to pick Toya your brain again about the uh, about the mountain thing. Once again, man, if you don't follow my ladies, tell them, ladies, where can they follow you at, ladies? Toya Love, 215, Instagram and Facebook. London Lust, 215 on my Instagram. That's right. And look. You can hire both of them to do videos. Damn. Yeah. Uh, you know what? That virus shit, 
Damn, I ain't shit moving right. No, but I forget I said that. Yeah, my homie hit me up today and said, listen, we still got these ones. They ready. What's good? We can still make it rain on that ass. I said, all right, I'm there. What's good? You already know. <laughs> That's I what I'm talking about, ones. people. You should be with me. First off, I want to say that I love you and I'll always care for you. Whenever you need me, I come running. You know I'm always there for you. But lately you're always on your phone and things don't feel the same. You always talking about this so-called friend. You even called me his name. And it just ain't right, babe. See the me I am You can't have two So you gotta choose It's see the me I am So what do you want? Who do you love? It's me or him Tell me can he love you like me? Does he hug you like me? Can he keep the business to himself like me? Does he make your favorite food like me? Girl, make up your mind, what do you want? Better figure it out before I'm gone And unless he's a fool, he won't stick around Waiting on you And you'll be looking silly like a clown It's either me or him You can't have two so you gotta choose, gotta choose. It's either me or him. So what do you want? Come on, baby. Right back at you. It's either me or that dumbass motherfucker. You better choose. Damn. <laughs> me or him. That's me right, or me her. or him. Speaking of that, right? I, I wanna ask y'all, ladies, right? I'm listening. You listening? Listening to you. Mm-hmm. So, what do a brother? AKA a man got to do to prove his love. I ain't talking about the normal shit. Because, you know, and it's like, and what's too much? What's like a nigga going too much? Like, you know, a nigga hit your phone too much, or is he, he around you too much? Y'all go through hard times where y'all arguing, he go the extra yard to try to make up. It's usually the guys we don't like that goes the extra mile and shit. The guys that we really like don't be the ones that put in that work. At least for me. The ones I really like, I'd be like, damn, why this nigga ain't call all day? Like, what the fuck? But the one that you don't like and that really likes me, oh, my gosh. They blow my shit up, and I hate that shit. That's how I know they like me a lot, is when they go out yes. their way to make sure I had a good day some type of way, whether it was like, damn, I'm not feeling something, you, bro. dropping off a donut in the morning <laughs> before you go to work, or, But I'm know, not feeling him. Something. It, it, nine times out of ten, it do be the guys you don't want that go extra, but then that's the type of shit I need to know that you really want me, too. So it's a, it's a give and but take. But you don't even want to So you got to in between, so <laughs> Yeah, you got to be in between. Like, you got to, I don't know, peep the little shit. Like, you got to be real open to the little thing. No, no, you just like, fuck that. The nut ass nigga always going the extra mile. Always. And that's the one I would say. That's the one. Because I don't know the one that don't want me. Right, I haven't learned my lesson yet. I'm like, where's that bad boy at? Where he at? He don't call me with his no good ass. Like, what the fuck? I'm about to pull up on this nigga. So so I guess it's true, ladies, that, uh, you know, that shit is cool, but who it's coming from. Yeah, I think so. But it just who the fuck getting it to you? Yeah, that does matter. But I'm not gonna put my time in with somebody and then believe that I like him for him to do that shit neither. So Mm-mm. if I'm not feeling you, I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, uh, I'm not cool. If you still so, decide to do stuff, that's on you. That's on you. That's on you. But <laughs> but I told you. I told you. How about you, London? <laughs> what? How about me? What? Like if say that again. you just straight up like if uh, you know the nigga you ain't feeling, that's the one giving you the you know the attention. Basically, that's how it always be. The ones that I'm not really feeling is the ones that are always throwing me attention. But the ones that really, you know, probably just probably want to smash real quick or whatever. Them niggas don't. So even at what point do that shit become too much? 
Because he trying to show you attention, you know, and he when they he con- trying constantly to keep calling. I hate when someone constantly keep calling. If I say I'm gonna call you right back, I'm gonna call you right back. Don't call me right back. I'm gonna call you back. If it takes me a little while to call back, then that's fine. But don't call me right back if I say I'm gonna call you right back. I agree with that one. I hate that. If that's I say a pet peeve. Leave me alone. Let me call you. When Let I'm me done. think about you. Like, oh I'm not shit. Done until tomorrow, and you still hitting me up. Oh now you shit. Getting on my nerves. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was busy. Whatever I was doing, I gave you notice that I was busy. Now right. you take time to do what I gotta do because it ain't on your schedule. Even if it's two days later. Even if it's two days later, I told you I was busy. Like that's disrespect. I told you I was busy regardless. Nah, of what nah, it was. I might have forgot about it, Des, because you not really don't give a fuck about him anyway. Anyway. So. <laughs> I forgot about him. Then I see his phone. Oh, shit. But sometimes I feel bad. Like, you know what? He's putting on a devil. Let me just get ahead of Let's not talk to him for a couple of So do effort, do effort get credit? But see, that's how you know we like you, though. Because if we like you, we're going to definitely make sure we hit you back. If we don't like you, then it probably will be a couple of days before we hit you back. Yes, because that nigga, I'm like your face. I'm be like, what you doing? You're going to be like, but you ain't call me in two days. <laughs> and I told you I was busy. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I, I don't like you. So, so do effort get credit? Do brother get credit for effort? Yeah, you still it, get it. Y'all ain't shit, man. Nah, we truthful. We honest. But women Damn. ain't shit, dog. I'm trying to tell you, man. Out there for somebody that don't welcome it. Like, I mean, it's welcome, but I told you I didn't need it. So <laughs> <laughs> you can keep giving it to me. I'll keep taking it. But I told you it wasn't a requirement from you. Like, <laughs> y'all ain't shit, stay man. In your lane. That's what they say, stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. That's fucked up. Yeah. Like you, yes or no? Well, you know, you know, I have a saying: w- women deceive you, men lie. Those are the ones you don't want. You can keep the game. A real man can keep the game from the beginning. Yeah. He can I, feel it. I got a phone call. Mm. I gotta take this phone call. Damn. Why nigga gotta take this phone call? That dude. No, that ain't what you think it wouldn't. <laughs> All right, I'm play this new track for y'all ladies. Saying what you think. Okay. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. Yeah, da, 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 da. Oh, oh. yeah.
What's up, people? It's your OG baby. I'm right back at you. Right back. Shout out to everybody who's tuning in. Shout out to my man, Mandy. Okay. Hi, Mandy. Yeah, he got a crush on you. He do? Yeah, yeah I'm at everybody with London at. I'm right here, Big Daddy. I don't boy that ass because London be on there. That's all right. I'm right here, Big Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> so I got my two girls, my two lovely girls. Toya, love two one five. Hey, somebody said fuck, fuck, crash, girlfriend. Mm. London lust two one five. It's in the motherfucking building. Yeah. So, uh, London, what you want to talk about, London? You got a hot topic for us? I do. What's popping, what baby? To talk about last week. And she remember we both forgot, so I can't even clown on no, that. It was bothering me until so one day I was just sitting on the couch and I thought about it. But <clears throat> my question is. Why do you guys, when y'all dealing with a female, right? Okay, you follow me? Yeah. Y'all dealing with a female, uh-huh. and y'all get intimate. Uh-huh. Why do y'all men will eat the box, no protection here? Oh, I remember that just, one. Just eat it all up. Hey, Who do you just, know? Ah, ah, just ah, tear it down. Ah, ah, and then ah, when ah. you're getting ready to hit it, you want to put on a condom. Because I told you, it's, I told you. But some of them are just fucking nasty. <laughs> yeah, at least be honest. <laughs> uh, uh, let's hey, let's get that, that right there. You'll do, huh? you do that? No, because first of all, I ain't eating everybody out. Good, okay. good answer, good yeah, answer. Good everybody, some some joints I'm smashing, keep it moving. Okay. I'll give a fuck with the quickie. But even if you eat the box, <laughs> why are you sitting up here putting on a condom? But like that? Maj- you, done just, you done sucked up everything. Now, she made I'm talking that. about me. I'm talking about okay, me. Even ahead. the box don't get somebody pregnant. <laughs> good answer, good True. answer. Okay. That, that's what that's that's a man answer. That's right. You wasn't see, why That's you not think, my answer. <laughs> why did you think if you got to let the juice no, okay. That's not my answer, okay, ladies. That's not your answer. Okay. Everybody got this. Mine is if if it's my chick, my man shorty, I'm not strapping up. Duh. But if it's somebody else I'm smashing, I'm not eating the box and I'm strapping up from the door. What if this bitch is bad as fuck? Okay. Oh, I'm really you strapping can't say up. Then. That. You I'm, you gonna what? I'm really strapping up there. Right, get the fuck out of here. Y'all niggas, you saying that on because we on live right now. But nigga, you'll be eating hey, that look. shit and then you'll strap up. Okay. I ain't gonna lie on some real shit. Y'all might think it's nasty, but if I decide to smash, you already got the pass. So that means you don't need a kind of put a tongue. I'm not looking at no stores for no fucking unlubricated <laughs> and shit for your fucking Ew. tongue. You know? Booty call! I heard that right. booty go! But some some women roll like that. Is that because uh, irritation? You trust the dude, or you're you're allergic to the lubrication? If I'm giving the ass up, basically I kind of have some trust in this yeah. guy. You know, like don't get me wrong. Yeah, I've yeah, had a one night stand something. before. I mean, yeah. I'm human. Yeah. I've had a one night stand, and of course it wasn't nowhere. I'm sucking his dick. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, I'm not doing all that. But you know what I'm saying? You might can just. You know what I'm saying? Pull your pants down halfway. I pull my little panties down halfway. And you know what I'm saying? We go about our business. I've about done that. On a condom. Say it again. Ain't you worried about a guy choking on a condom? He all into it. And then, boom, he start choking and shit. You got to stop what you're doing to get this dude CPR. <laughs> like, I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Toy, so you choking. I was like. Come on, nigga. Come on. See, I told you. We get buck wild up in this motherfucker, dog. I told you. I told you. It's not supposed to be in your mouth when you going down there. No, but some dudes. Some some dudes is nasty, though. I'm I'm strapping up, ladies. I'm real firm about that. Girl. Okay, and he eating the box. Shut up. I swear all to right. my mama, like, Once man. I get it, I'm tearing it up. Okay. Uh, all day. Mm. Everybody, Cookie hey, everybody. Don't use rubbers. Yo. Yum, yum. <laughs> I ain't, I ain't started going down on women until I was in my middle 30s. And that's when you decided not to use the condom. What? <laughs> 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 Yo. Yo. Yo, they shout out, man. I'm trying to tell you, man. Uh, you ain't trying to tell us shit, okay? All right, so. Run the bomb one more time. What what's your question? Why do y'all men be so quick? Why to do eat, men be so quick to eat, eat up that the food, box? Nanny. And same thing do females. Y'all be so quick to suck this nigga, suck his soul 
what y'all call it. You know what I'm saying? Suck his soul, and you also up here and have this nigga to strap up. Like, why? Well, can, can you answer that for the ladies? That's not me. I'm a good girl. <laughs> 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 Listen, I, I, I mean, I, oh, you one of those girls, huh? Be I like, I can't. Oh, girl. I just talked a whole lot of shit, so I'm just contradicting myself. Get all up in it, you feel me, big fatty? Let me stop. <laughs> <laughs> Just rolling, I'm sounding good. <laughs> Yo, y'all, y'all shout out. What's on to? What we is? Need answers. Yes, fellas, we need answers from you guys. No, he said no, no, no. No, it's no. about you. He's talking about the yeah, the fellas. No, he want no, answers from you. Fuck yes, this. he is. He ain't talking about all right, this. what's his name? Vibes. Vibes. Vibes from Black. All right, a a a vibes. A, explain to her. I know what you're talking about. He want answers from you. That's what he want to know. He want to know why when you meet a dude, right? It's like you ask a. Uh, okay, okay, right <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. Go ahead. He want to know why you suck a dude off all crazy and make him put the condom on. Because hold up, this shit is way too motherfucking good for y'all motherfuckers to be skeeting all in. All right, we ain't doing all that. Well, look, That's the motherfucking reason. Yeah, but you just gave him, um, um, you, you just sucked his soul off, dog. That's fine, and I gave it right back. You sucked it right back. I gave it the fuck right back. You yeah. just do it for a couple seconds, and you give it back. You, know what I'm uh, you gotta let him know who the fuck is the yeah, boss. She took it and resuscitated his ass. There you go. She <laughs> whoa, whoa. I can't have your okay, mom to coming to me, asking to me, like, Put how the fuck my son on. died. Put that shit on. <laughs> <laughs> how did my son die? Oh, oh. Miss Jones. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Like, all that was good down there, but I'm going to need you oh, to strap up. Jones, baby. your son. <laughs> Y'all shout out. Y'all shout out, man. I'm Mr. Mike. It's my two hosts. My lovely host, London. Plus 215. Latoya. Right here. 215. And tonight, tonight we talking about the 5G thing. We talk about anything and everything. All right. He said he said females, too. I was like, females, why y'all do that? See, that's what I'm talking yeah, about. Because... London got that wet, wet, got that drip, yeah. drip, So London wants to know from the fellas, <laughs> because it's London's topic. She yes, want to know from fellas. the fellas. She want to know why mm-hmm. niggas be eating that poonini all, all crazy. Pooly licking it, everything. All up in it. Then throw a condom on. I'm going to be real. Like, Go ahead, be real, to you. I ever gave head to somebody, uh-huh. hey, Somebody actually stopped and said, let me strap up. In the moment, like after foreplay? Or right yeah, after there? foreplay. After foreplay, yeah. They better put, take a second to put a condom on us. I'm taking a second to put a condom on. Like, I'm going to check you on it. But then I'm also going to hesitate if you didn't because I'm going to wonder why Bruh. you didn't and what type of dude you be you are and who you was messing with without a condom yeah. where you think the next but, girl, yes. you know, shouldn't be using a condom, you know. And for us to have this conversation, me, we ain't had sex before. So to me, that's a whole lot of questions that is a warning sign in the very beginning if I got to tell you to put a condom on. That's, that's totally what I tried to explain to my young boy one time. Yeah, that's that's like mandatory. You should really? have it ready. It should be right there. You should be smooth with it. If y'all don't give a fuck if it's not smooth, you better have that shit ready, prepared. If it's not, you just walk out. So so would but you I'm say ready. the would you say the female is is responsible also for making sure? That even though he licked the booty and all that? It's 100% responsible for everybody. Like, protect yourself, protect him, protect your, everybody. The next Amen. person afterwards, like, it's both people's Amen. responsibility. You can't say he gave you something if you was willing to take it. As, Ooh, as, as yes. adults. Sure. You done it's took that sad. disease, bitch. You know, you really? gave it to him, you let him give it to you like that. You knew what was going on, so that's both y'all fault. Don't get mad. Here's that fact. Got to be a clinic. strap after the suck. 
Yeah. <laughs> After the Damn. fucking sucks, reach for that shit. Okay. Damn. Gotta bring the strap. Fuck that. I ain't sucking no nigga dick without a condom. Bitch. So Here. so you do it with the condom on? With the condom on, okay? So uh, that's what hubby too? Bitch, fuck no. No. Oh. No. So what if hubby came in? <laughs> what if hubby came in one day, put the strap on? <laughs> So what if you ask him to put the strap on? That means he probably got something. We don't trust him. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Maybe it might be a little horny. Maybe he contracted a bacterial vaginosis, which is normal for females, for you guys to know this. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you know, you're not supposed to have sex on it. But me personally, I'm not having sex on it. If I contracted a bacterial vaginosis, I'm not having sex on it. A bacterial vaginosis. If we ask our hubby to put a condom on and we ain't never asked him before and we ain't used them before and since the beginning or some shit, then... Then no, it's not, there's some questions that need to be asked, and somebody needs to be smacked. <laughs> In a clinic, a clinic needs to be Listen, visited. Okay. That's Say, that. somebody needs to be smacked, Toya. Yeah, that's, that's a violent moment. That's a reason to be violent. Like, what? <laughs> Who you okay. asking? What? Yeah. But like I said, London going to suck a dick with a condom. Yes. Period. Period. Yes. Period. Period. <laughs> but you know, that's not the same sensation for a man, though. So if that, she knows what she's doing, you will feel that you're right. like it's no other. Okay? You're right. But so it goes back it goes back to your first question, though. What's my first question? The difference. Why the fuck a mean uh, 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 munch the box and all that and then go throw a journal? Well, he going to have to munch the box without a fucking protection. Like, what the fuck you going to use? Saran wrap? Like, what the fuck you going to use? <laughs> Bitch, you going to have to get in there. The fuck? <laughs> yes. And I don't like when you guys be trying. Listen, the hole is not cool. What Maybe you mean, cool? To be licking all in there and all. That's like, I, I, yeah, me, yeah, I don't like it. I mean, maybe other women may love that shit. Yeah, yeah. But to yeah. me, that's so disgusting. You know? Yeah, Just yeah. Lick on the clitoris. Do you men know the where that's at? The clitoris all you shit is about to go you know, down. Like man in a boat. Like, that's where you belong. The man like in a boat. Every man needs a lesson for each girl that they hear. Each girl in the very beginning should tell them, like, how they like it, how they want it. And every girl is not the same. Girl. Nope. Don't you hate when a nigga be like, oh, I'm I the eat the shit out of your I'm, pussy, I'm baby. All of that. I, I just, I'm no, what you might do bitch. for that bitch may yeah. be good, but for me, baby, it's not. It's well, not girls good. do it. And you'd be disappointed. Girls do what? Sounds like, ah. You'd be disappointed. You'd be like, I thought she was Nick Jack yep. Mac. Like, girls do it. Like, girl be like, man, I'm going to suck your Every soul. Time. Our head game be trash. You the ones that talk the most is trash. Man, what the fuck are you? like, stop playing, man. You call that a head job? Uh, a, a head job and a hand job. job. Talk the most is it. definitely trash. Well, yeah, yeah. What yeah, you say? The ones that talk the most. It's like niggas be like, oh yeah, I'm going to hit that. I bust your ass. Bust who? What? Nigga, I got a lot of motherfucking ass out here, boy. Okay, so if to you be busting on fucking ass, you better know what the fuck you're doing. You can't have a shrimp either. What's the fuck? shrimp? What's the shrimp? Know. Most of the ones yeah. busting ass out there pop them elephant pills. <laughs> the elephant pills. The Sunoco pills. Oh, the uh, the rhino. The rhino. I told you I was saying dingo. Oh, you funny as shit. That ass. <laughs> you said tell him. That's right. All this shit back here. Hey, y'all tell you. Know what the fuck y'all gonna do? You call the elephant pills, sir. Elephant, elephant pills. pills. Shit lasts forever. The the, the rhino. <laughs> Y'all shit out the fuck out, dog. You gotta, you gotta hurry up. I'm old now, okay? In and out, like a robbery. Let's go. All right, okay. so, so what would you consider mm-hmm. a good night of sex? Like, far as though, far as though, like, time. Time? Yeah. I like a lot of foreplay first. So, I yeah. like how I put your that gets in with some foreplay. Deep. You know, you gotta, like, push your neck into Ow. it, your back into it, you know, all Ow. that, like. Ow. That's going on for a minute. Like, oh, I want you to have me to the point where I'm like, let me 
begging Listen, for like, dick. Like, in. Yes. Yeah, like, yeah. make sure you get your name type shit. Like, get yes. us. Then we can go through the rest because after that, I don't even care no more. It's just going in and popping. I'm not right. even watching the clock. Like, after that, it's like, how long did we go? I don't know. I don't know. So it's, it's, it's foreplay counted in the time? Yeah, hell yeah. That's a part of my time. You take it up my time. How about you, London? Is foreplay counted in your time or not? No, well, that's just bonus. <laughs> So so how come women don't how come women don't count foreplay? How come women don't count foreplay in the sexual intercourse? That's getting me nice and wound up for it. So then when I'm But what about us though? We gotta get wound up. Oh don't worry, that's 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 part of foreplay. That's in the package. Yeah, foreplay go both ways. That's in the whole benefit package. Oh my god, y'all hearing this shit firsthand. The double standard with fucking women. You go both ways. God damn it. Oh. Unless you got, you got to sign an agreement, all right? On this dotted line. She putting work in, so, like, if you got a real girl, she putting some work in. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. She, she definitely is. That's why I say it count, because all that time count, all that effort count, and if you finish before I do, there's a problem, it count. It counts. Don't you hate that? I what do. I, and I always finish you. first. So if I finish, if I finish, mm-hmm. if you finish before me, there's a problem. There's a problem? That's, That's just another problem. nigga just added to the list. Check. <laughs> Y'all, y'all shot the fuck out. So, so, so when, when you say finish, you mean if he, if he, if he come before you? Duh. Yeah. If he come before me, there's a problem. Well, you yeah, know, on average, a on average, we come before y'all anyway. Nah, I hope not. Uh, no, I hope I'm not. On that's on average, that's, yeah, they usually If you know you come fast, but if you, you really, really care about her. invest in some Sunoco pills. If you really care about yeah. her, y'all hold that shit. Because some of y'all men know how to hold that shit. Mm-hmm. Some. Some do, some don't. I hope some. y'all do. The like, muscle I feel control. Like y'all switch positions oh. when y'all feel like it's at that point. You know, you switch it up, let it go down, let it build up again. Like if you know what you're doing, you know how to control that shit. Yeah. If you if you don't know what you're doing, don't even try it. Like go to somebody to practice shit. Like don't even come here. I think that shit go both ways. It do. Meaning, it, mean it, mean like. Because girl knows what it's going on. Guys ain't willing to put that work in anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck that, baby. If you had sex with London Lust 215, like, you better motherfucking... Yeah, listen, it's okay. I know y'all still want it, bitch. Y'all can't get it, but y'all can still... You know, I know. What's up, Mandy? Mandy, <laughs> Tim. Tim, Tim, Tim. Uh, I don't I don't know. I remember Tim. <laughs> <laughs> it's obvious somebody went to school with us. Well, shout I might out. know his face. Shout out to Tim. All right, Shout Tim, out. I'm sorry, Tim, but you got to show me a picture, dog. She not know a lot of people, dog. Especially from Gillespie and Gratch. That's where I went, ladies. Gillespie and Gratch. North Philly all day. Um, I don't recall. No, you don't recall? I don't know where that goes off, so. All right. So tonight, tonight I got my ladies wound up. That's why it's good to have ladies in the office, you know. Hot as fuck in here. London's always hot. Big sliding the fuck back and shit. Like, come on, Mike. And we talk about anything and everything tonight. We talked about that 5G thing. How is the how is it is ties to the corona thing? And uh that's some shit right there. London wanted to know. What do you want to know, London tonight, London? She wanted to know. Why do you why? so quick to eat the box? Eat that box. And then put on a condom. Put like, on a no. condom. If you already eating it, you know what I'm saying? You might as well just go and raw the dog. You don't, you already got what the fuck she got, if she have any. I feel like if you kissing me, like, with your tongue, Ooh, then listen. what's the point in a condom when you're doing oral anyway? Lord. Like, okay. yeah, we already swapping germs. Like, <laughs> okay. like, we already went there. So, you like kissing? I love kissing. I'm definitely a good kisser. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, you don't, you don't like kissing, London? I have, I have to be in the mood, and I have to really like you to kiss you. Oh, yes. interesting. Because I'm a very good kisser, but I cannot kiss every but guy. But that's the thing. If they oh, can't no. kiss, they can't do nothing else for me. So that's so that's how you almost kind of like fill them out. That's the first first thing, like shaking hands. Like, if you can't kiss, like, what's that says a lot. Going? We yeah. Friends, yeah. 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 I kind of agree with you on that, too. Yeah. I don't care. I want to uh, come home and kiss my man. It's definitely a good, yeah. Like, yeah, give me cheek, like, uh. I'm kiss, period. It's, it's, a, it's, it's stimulus. It's, it stimulates you, too. Especially if, 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 if you both like to kiss and you're both two good kisses. Aww. Especially, can you kiss my cheek? 
<laughs> Wait, what'd you say? I missed that. Esther, can you kiss me? <laughs> See, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't I kiss Toy, but I kiss you. <laughs> yeah, that's, that, that's why I kiss Toy. Oh my God, it's not even bad. Yeah. I'll have to kiss you, though, London. Uh-huh. It's like, huh? <laughs> toy, more, toy, like, more like my cousin. All right, so London, so how is your diet coming along? Are you sticking to it? Where you at with that shit? And how's your diet? So your your diet coming along fine, too? My diet is pretty good so far. I'm proud of myself. Seven pounds in the house. Yeah. Well, you lost seven pounds? No, I'm gaining seven pounds. I'm about to say, Toy, you can't lose seven pounds. Are you trying to get that butt up? Yeah, and the thighs. So yeah. my, my diet consists of eating in bed, sleeping in bed, and er- doing everything in bed. So You got to do squats, too. Yeah, it's not very bad. <laughs> <laughs> you count that down real quick. It's not very bad. Tim said to London. Have some time. Yeah, it's called Cash App. Ow! That's my boy. <laughs> cash Cash App. That's Tell, tell me if he stay tuned to the to the after show and he cast at, you know, we might do a little side. Yeah, we might get a little side. Jigga, jigga, jigga. All right, so go ahead and stop playing, London. No, but my, stay my, my diet has been very good. Uh, you know, the military diet only lasts for three days. So you did your three days, so you got to do it again? Well, I'm going to repeat it again, yes, but um, it's the military diet for three days. Okay, what the fuck is that? Well, it's just basically no starch, no carbs, and oh. stuff like that. So it's just basically like fruits. And Tom, what's up, Tom? Chicken, you can have all that good stuff, of course. Um, that's 10 days, so that's 13 days altogether from the three days from the military. Then 10 days, that's 13. So we get one cheat day. And then it's back again. Same day rotation. But I have lost a couple pounds. I mean, I don't know. I feel it. I can see it. A lot of people have been telling me, like, Oh my God, you, you lose like weight fast, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, I really do that. So, did you put on the uh, sweatsuit? No, I haven't done that yet. No? Mm-mm. You feel like being in quarantine is helping you lose your bones? Well, being in quarantine be driving me crazy. Mm. And I'm like a fat bitch in the heart. And I love to eat. Love to eat. Especially because I'm not moving like that. You know, mm. I always want to eat, you know, whatever. So, that's been, it's been hurting. So, lately I've been just trying to like fall back from everything. Mm-hmm. Just, you know, How about you, Tori? Did you eat a lot? I've been chicken out hardcore. Um, my diet consists of like soul food, Jamaican food, everything with protein, everything with fat and butter. I'm in it. Like I'm trying my best to gain <laughs> at butter. least ten more pounds, and I'm good. I'm at my weight. Then I'll start hitting the gym once I'm at my weight and toning it up. But would that uh would that affect your modeling career, though, Tori? I'm one thirty one. I think I can afford ten pounds. Okay. And how tall are you? Five seven. Oh, that's my height. Yeah, yeah. I want to get to about one fifty, one fifty three, one fifty five, at least one sixty the the most. I would like because I was that weight and it looks phenomenal. Like everything just was like stomach was like you know yeah. six pack, you know. Say phenomenal. It, it was. It was really nice. I want to get back to there, but yeah, unfortunately, it didn't I can get to one fifty. I'd be happy. I'm one eighty. I'd do everything. So you 150? I'd be picky if I can get to there. You don't think that would be too heavy for you? No, not if it sits where it's supposed to sit at. That's Everybody's weight sits different. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's the key. And where do you think your weight would sit at? I, I think it would spread out everywhere. I think it would mostly go to my arms. Because when I work out, that's where my muscle goes to my mm. arms and my back. So. And how about you, London? To your ass? My thighs and ass. My yeah. neck, my back. <laughs> oh, y'all funny and shit. Everywhere. My, my neck. neck. My, my back, back. Hey. <laughs> and my my crack. <laughs> 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 Bitch, you go everywhere. Like God damn, I'm like get this shit off. All right, so that's what I'm talking about, man. It's a, I love I love doing the show with these two ladies right here, man. God yes, is good, man. Definitely. Yes, he is, man. That's what I'm talking about. I love all that. I'm your host, Mr. Mike. It's my lovely co-host. Line the lights, two one five. My special guest. Latoya Love, two one five. Yes, indeed, people. And you can hire these ladies. I'm trying to tell you, all right, after the virus thing. You can definitely hire them. 
We got I got Toya. She do the modeling. Matter of fact, Toya, tell me about your boutique. Mm. It's called Above and Beyond. It's a clothing store. I specialize in styling, um, photo shoots, models, rappers, designers, or just regular people that just have a nice event to go to. Um, it's private. I come to you, and you can come to my in-home boutique. Um, I also have a trailer, so I can come to your events and sell clothing. Mm. And uh, we have a, a couch, lounges. It's really nice with a cigar room. It's very upscale. Um, we do from strippers to grandmoms. We strippers to grandmoms. Strippers to grandma. We have a little bit of everything for every type of female, petite to plus size. Um, Fat girls. We cater to you. You tell us what you're looking for, and we will find it for you or get it made for you. So it's all customized material. Um, <laughs> above and beyond, contact me, Instagram, Latoya Love. And I want to send a shout out to my chef, Gary uh, Kinsley, and my sec- my co-owner, Michelle Bailey from Above and Beyond. How you, how you doing? Both See? beautiful international models. Shout out. That's my girl right there. Shout out. So, so you think maybe when, when it's clear, we could do a little segment? You can uh, maybe London to be a model? Oh, definitely. I would love to dress you. Yeah. I just sounded you London. Show y'all and be like, pow, this where we at with it. Also, oh, so we're yeah. going to do, do a before and after joint then. Okay. Before and after. Oh. All right. That'd be dope. Cool. Today I ain't got no eyelashes on because y'all already know the motherfuckers just closing. I ain't got time to put the motherfuckers. I'm always late anyway. <laughs> see, she, see, she natural. No, you actually been good on time. You definitely. Ah, thank yeah, you. Yeah, you been cutting it down. I, I definitely see an effort in you. You uh, you making it here. Mm-hmm. And. I guess once you know, I appreciate you. And like Thank always, you uh, like I always say, man, people people come in your life for reasons, for man. Reason, absolutely. They do. Some people you meet, you never fucking see again. <laughs> you met that person one time, and I truly believe that you two ladies came in my life for a reason. Definitely. All right, so you know, the bigger my platform, the bigger our platform. There you go. Notice I said our platform. Uh, me, you, and of course, Rome. <laughs> me and Rome, we definitely, me, you, and Rome. Rome, uh, was it 1500? Rome, 1500. 1500. All right, so so tell me, ladies, what's, uh, what y'all looking forward to this summer? Summertime is coming, you know. Well, you y'all know, trying to get in shape. Cycle. You can ride a bike? No, but I'm about to learn. Oh, shit. Mm. I'm so for real, <laughs> and why you appreciate the backyard? I never really even spent time in my backyard. Damn. You know, I plan to like be there because I'm always around the world, checking out this, checking out that. And mm. I haven't even spent that much time home until this coronavirus has kicked in. So I really plan to spend more time with family when this is all said and done. I'm mm. um, doing some more local things, doing some more things in Philly in the tri-state area. Uh, I really want to just, you know, maybe that's a good career. One. Like I still want to model and do what I think and sell clothes, but I think I'm a add another career that's more essential if this ever happens. Again. How about you, London? What 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 good have you came from this this lockdown that we on? I mean, well, you know, I've been I do nails, so that's so your nail business picked oh, yeah, up. Sir, I can, I can, oh, definitely did. I mean, right now I don't have any monomer, which people don't know what that is. It's the nail liquid. But I don't have any monomer right now, so I can't do the nails. I'm waiting for my order to come in. But that's just something I want to do now is to promote my business through the nail as far as my nails. Black owned business. There you go. Support it. That's it. That's what's up. We need more black owned uh, nail technicians. I think we only have one in Philadelphia. We need to get it up there. We need yes. support. Yes, and I'm willing to train people. If you want to learn how to do nails, I want to So you ever, you ever thought about uh, taking it to a next level, like getting all your own shit? Maybe in your in your house or something like that. I have all that. My whole like dining area is set up for just like my little station. Yeah, and yeah. Nails I already have all that. I'm just you know trying to stack the money up, and of course, being a girl that I'm a dancer, that money is a stack up too. But I've been spending a lot of it. But I've been stacking that up too. Once everything opens back up, I can get back in here and start stacking so that's my what's money up. up and definitely open up my own salon. Cause that's uh that's me too, ladies. Cause I've been I've been pushing the show more. It made me uh, it made me promote more mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got I got my podcast monetized. Mm-hmm. I got it monetized. The first one real low. 
I hit the first ten dollars, I get a check. Now in my eyes, it's only fucking ten dollars, but it's, it's definitely motivation, man. I swear to God, that ten is gonna be some more zeros behind that shit that's gonna fucking come. Claim it. And that's 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 totally how I'm thinking. Claim it, you get it. Yeah, yes indeed. All right, so Mandy, hold up, Mandy. <laughs> yeah, Mandy, Mandy blowing my phone up. He trying to holler, he trying to holler. At, at line that cash app, nigga. What's that? What's that? What is it again? Line lines to oh my cash app. Yeah. My cash app is Bank Fargo. Bank Fargo. So if y'all got husbands, what's y'all, up, I mean, y'all got wives out there, don't worry about it. Yeah, what's up, man? What's up? Hey, give me a second, man. I'm I'm live. See, see my show live right here, people. This is what this is yeah. what we do right here, all right? Oh. That's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna play a song real quick, right? And we're gonna come right back to, uh with my two lovely ladies, the Toya Love Two One Five and London Lust. Yes. Two, one, all right, where we at? And I'm Rocky Mountain High, blowing smoke up in the sky. Thank you, Mother Nature. I swear you did a good job. Hey, hey, who dreams? Cookies. Hey, OJ. Purple hey. Yeah. 